What's up? You're listening to the Juan and Joe podcast. This episode is brought to you by ktshirts.net. So, back when I was 17, um, I had a friend that, we are about the same age, he happened to be 18 at the time, but we were still in high school, and um, unfortunately he ended up committing a crime. Uh, I don't know if he had ever done it or not, I just know that he had he was convicted of it. Right, right. Um... I mean, we're just kids at that fucking time. I mean, you're talking high school, you know. So, <clears throat> I used to be a buddy. We were like family. We were always, uh, there was four of us. He was one of them. And he ended up kind of separating a little bit from the group for a little while. Uh, unfortunately, during that time, he obviously got into some other shit. And um, the, mur- the, 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 the crime he was convicted of was murder. Mm. And first degree. So... Unfortunately, well, you know, it, it, it's sad, and, and I do want to say my uh, my thoughts and prayers and still my respect go to the family of the person that uh, was lost during this mm-hmm. unforeseen circumstances. Um, I also feel bad for my friend. Um, I can't say that he doesn't deserve to be punished if he did indeed do this, because I think... Right. Uh, you can't you can't take somebody else's life without um, without consequences. I, I you know that's just right. wrong. I, I think for any of us that have so many moral values, mm-hmm. that's the way it is, right? So, <clears throat> unfortunately, that happened in two in, in a way two lives were taken, yeah. as they say. The old cliche: two families yeah. also were scarred forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. Um, you know, again, it's, it's too bad for, for both families, for all parties involved, really. So, I have been writing to him. We are now, well, I am now 39. He is 40 or 41. So, he's been in prison for 22 years now. Jesus. And, um... A long fucking time. Yeah, yeah, a long time. I mean, uh, just so you guys know, he did get convicted, and it's life... With no possibility of parole. So you're going at 18. Yep. And that's all he knows now. I, As far as we know, he'll never get out. Just like a little skid row action there, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and, and granted, we're, we're not trying to make this a somber fucking podcast. We are going to be kind of laughing about it, but... I wanted to... You gotta I just want to give the backstory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I want to give the backstory. backstory. There's like, he's not in now. Uh, Tent City for driving drunk last week. He's, <laughs> he's in there and he's been in there. And he, exactly. And it's exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and and it's and it's 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 tough. But um, what I've been writing, for, I've been writing him for the last I don't know, 15, 16 years, maybe maybe a little more than that. But it's been a long time since I've been writing him, and we've been communicating. Unfortunately, I haven't I, I haven't wrote him as much as I should have been the last couple of years um no excuse busy get busy but after hearing all these podcasts that we've been listening to a lot busy is not a good term to use right i think you've kind of yep. probably yeah heard that. busy is just means you got too much shit you gotta say no to more or right it's just a sign of being you know unorganized yes in your work and, and yeah. not yeah, i'm busy is not an excuse i don't want to do that you know, mm-hmm. I'm not going to do that, but I'm busy just means you have chaos. And exactly. You're out of control. Right. And that, and that's exactly it. And, and I've been trying to get away from that term. Yeah. I I'm just to. I just don't know what else to replace it with. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that's probably the biggest one. Mm, no. 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 But I've been trying to, I've been trying to stay away from that term a little bit. Yep. However, in this case, yeah, I mean... It, like I said, it shouldn't be an excuse that I haven't wrote my buddy because I've been too busy. You should never be too busy for friends, especially right. writing a letter. And I think part of it is is there's a couple things I hate fucking doing. That is one, talking on the phone, and two, <laughs> writing letters. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, I and the thing is is 
I'd have <laughs> FaceTime to that shit because my family always wants to FaceTime. <laughs> I'd rather almost yeah. talk on the phone than that. I can't even oh, fucking do that shit. Fuck. And I haven't tried it, thankfully, unless it's some naked broad, but in hot. Okay. So, um, so the thing is, is <clears throat> I, the reason why I don't write him also a lot is because <laughs> I can only ask him how he's doing so many fucking times. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> so, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How are things? Uh, what's, um, what's new? Yeah. Well, not really that much. You know, the last 22 years I've been... <laughs> yeah. The same fucking thing every day. Right, right. So they still making Salisbury steak? In the- <laughs> <laughs> so... Everything's a hungry man dinner. That's what I pictured. Everything's oh, just the God, hungry probably- man like- Fucking like Salisbury steak. It's and fucking a little bit gold of to them, probably. Oh, oh this God. shit right here is probably gold, you know. So I was just like, yeah. I mean, I guess maybe the only thing is I can kind of say is, you know, has anybody been stabbed? You know, or or what the fuck? <laughs> any new cellmates? You can yeah, talk any about new it? cellies or any good stories? Fuck, anything you can say? Yeah, right. Because there's a lot of shit that he doesn't yeah. tell me. It'd be like the FBI when you get a letter from him, they redact or what he <laughs> fucking says. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> dear Jose, line, 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 line. line. Let's see, and it goes on For to lunch, say, I had chicken, line, right. line, line. <laughs> and then it goes on to say, all right, take care. Love bread. That was eight pages? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I that's that another, that's, a, <laughs> and that's another reason it's hard for me to write him, because yeah. there's a, Really, there's only yeah. so much I can say, but I guess when you you're can almost that, use, yeah, you can almost use it like therapy for yourself, though, because he'd be interested in almost anything he wrote. He would be. You could like write, you know, what's going on. You could write your day at your fucking tent gig bullshit job you hate, mm, and that uh, might be the most interesting thing he's fucking read in two months. Like, yeah, whoa, and then what happened? <laughs> You're like, yeah. And then I looked up and somebody else was walking by my cubicle and I put my head back down and opened up Photoshop. No. This is fucking, he's just like hanging on every fucking letter. No, this is, but this is, this is the bad thing about that. Is what about if he goes, holy shit, thank God I'm in prison. That sounds fucking horrible. So wait, how's that going to make, how's that going to make me feel? No, fuck that shit. I'm going to take that chance. I'll be like, holy shit. You saw a girl in a skirt? <laughs> I don't know. It could work. Yeah, you're right. Like, who's like, up? holy shit. <laughs> who's locked up? You or me? You know? I mean, fuck. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. I, but I should write him anyway because for him, it, fuck, it doesn't matter what I'm writing. I, I could probably just say, hey, what up, man? I uh, beat off to this fucking girl the other day <laughs> in the shower and, uh, and then I went to work. So... Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe he'd still find that interesting. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, so I, I don't I don't run as often as I should. I've been trying to change that. Um, for some reason, writing just seems to take so long. And, yeah. and granted, we even got all the shit that we have written now. Right. Um, but but, the, but it does. The writing of the idea takes longer than. It's ten times longer than the thought of the idea. It does. Hey, we could just write about that and then fucking eight sentences oh, later we're still up there fuck. fucking writing on the sheet going, what the fuck? <laughs> Wasn't this just like one sentence when you said it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so true. So this segment we want to do as far as podcasting is I'm going to start, and, and, and I'm going to start reading letters that my buddy has written me um, to basically kind of get into, kind of show people what prison does or maybe doesn't do. Yeah. In a, yeah. In a sense, right? And um, it, it, is, it is crazy how there's no development process in that fucking place. Right. I mean, is, there is development process in the negative, negative way as far as you got to fucking watch your back. You got to, um, you, you have to trade fucking cigarettes or he bets stamps for instance on fucking games i mean oh, really? yeah you're betting stamps and shit and i suppose yeah i mean like, like you said before time freezes that was one of your it, other things you said yeah right it does it does it, you're right that's exactly what i you're right that i did say it. time freezes he he has no fucking clue what a smartphone looks like <laughs> um last time i knew he didn't have access to a fucking computer mm. 
And when I did ask him about that, he's like, no, they don't allow us to have computers. They treat this place like a fucking prison. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just like one? <laughs> so he still has a humor about it, but he's like, yeah, that stupid computer box. And when, I, when he first started talking, when I started talking to him about, you know, computers and shit like that, his mom, who unfortunately has, pa- has passed away, um, it, she would talk to him and say something about Facebook. And, and, and I remember when they first said it, he'd be like, this, you could find him on this Facebook thing. Like he's talking about his yeah, brother, you know, yeah. this Facebook thing that my mom talks about. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, so he knows Facebook, the term, right, but I don't he think. He doesn't understand the concept. Yes. He doesn't just use it. Like we would, he doesn't just say, find him on Facebook. Right. And I said, there's this Facebook thing. I don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and what could he imagine? Because I can only remember when um, I kept hearing the internet. And I'm like, what the fuck's this internet? Right. And right. I just had this vision, and it was completely off. But <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> chat rooms. What's a chat room? Chat rooms. <laughs> AOL. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus. So, so that's the only thing I can imagine. It's just like when people say, well, that's been Photoshop. I guarantee you, hey, person of those fucking people out there think it's a fucking term. Right. They don't a, even know what the hell Photoshop not a program. is. Right, yeah, right, right. 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 Oh, that's been Photoshop. And you know what Photoshop is? Um, just that. Stuff's been done. <laughs> How? You motherfucker. <laughs> don't use the fucking term right. if you don't know what it is. Right. <laughs> but that's the only thing I can imagine. So he, he has no idea as far as internet goes. As far as I know, he's never seen the fucking internet. He right. does have like a prison inmates.com or something like that, which is kind of like a Facebook for prisoners. And that's why I thought maybe he had access to a computer at one point. But what he said is that somebody has to make it for him. And if he, it's like a pen pal thing. And if somebody writes him through that, they print it out and give him the message. Oh, does he get to write back? He does, but it's, (coughs) but you would get a letter, not. Yeah. And it's twice a month. That he gets it. He, even though, say say if he were to get 10, 10 messages, he won't get them until that month, that day of the month. So he, I guess he gets them like twice a month or something. That wouldn't be too bad, though, because then he could just send quick notes. No pen, no pencil, no paper, no stamp. You could just... Yeah, no, but he doesn't. He has to write them back physically. Right, he does, but he's got time. Yeah, he's <laughs> a lot of them. So you could... You could just log on there and send a quick note. Yeah, and and, that, and that's one way I did that because I actually fucking hit him up that way one time when oh. I found him, and that's that might have been how I one way I had actually contacted him. But I've had his 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 address for a long time. Like I said, I've been writing him for a long time. He just was he had moved. He had been in uh, Ely or Elko. I always forget those fucking two, which is maximum security up north in Nevada. And just as of maybe the last. Four four years or so, he's been moved over to by Vegas. Yeah, okay, that's gonna be a fucking place there. All the no. shit that goes down in Vegas, all the people there. Yeah, but it's still like I would say thirty to forty minutes outside of Vegas. Yeah. The thing is, is what's good is that up there it snowed a lot. Here it doesn't. So, um, so he's been there for for a few years now. Oh, excuse me. Uh, but like I said, he doesn't know fucking anything. I mean, literally anything. So I want to start reading these. And, and maybe if I can go back to a few letters that maybe I still have. I have them all, but they're all over the fucking place. Right. But I can still maybe go back and start reading some of the letters that we had talked about and, and kind of the mindset again of what yep. he has. Now, unfortunately, you know, it's not his fault that he doesn't know a lot of this stuff. Um so, you know, I know he's been in the hole quite a bit, but anyways, I just wanted to start at least writing or, or reading every time I receive a letter from him. Yeah, I like it. And then... And I've never read any of these, so this is going to be all new. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I've never read any of these in here. No. I knew he wrote them. I, 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 I read you one... a few stories once in a while. I read one once, yeah. So, the shit he says is, is fucking off the wall sometimes. And, <laughs> all right. And I think it's hilarious. So, um... So, okay, so here we go. So, it's my friend um, from prison. I don't know if I want to use his name yet. You already did once. But I didn't use his last name. Oh, no, yeah, right? don't do that. 
So, okay, so my, my buddy, this is for my buddy Brad, and um, I just got this letter uh, a couple weeks, well, about a week ago, and uh, again, he's up by Nevada. So, okay, 329.16, dear Mr. Jose Meza Jr., exclamation point, because I haven't written him for a fucking long time. <laughs> This is this is a good friend, and he's the one in prison. Well, how is your face? Still stupid? Oh, and hello, Michelle. <laughs> oh, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and sometimes I might have a little bit difficulty pronouncing what he says because he doesn't fucking spell for shit and never oh, has been able yeah, to. Yeah. And his writing... And it's not getting any better in prison? No, oh, surprisingly yeah. enough. And his writing is like, you know, like he's writing with his fucking feet or something instead. Okay, so he goes on to say, I'm glad, I'm glad you've been busy. I understand. Wish I could be. I stay, I stay busy in here. If you only knew, smiley face, maybe at visit, I'll tell you secrets. <laughs> So he never says too many shit, and then just yeah. I'm like, fuck, because they read it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, <clears throat> so there he goes, I'm good. Hope to move up levels again, whatever the fuck that means. I don't know. Um, He's leveling up, that's a good thing. Oh, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I hope he finds any perks, like in fucking Call of Duty, maybe he can get. Yeah, he'll level up. <laughs> <laughs> if... I, I, I'm good. Hope to move up levels again if these racist bastards would stop giving me write-ups. They hate white people. <laughs> My story. I get... I got to tell it. Grammar. Yeah, yeah. Me and Joe, which is his brother, his little brother who um, lives in California. Okay. Got some inheritance cash from my pops. 20 years late. It's nice. Joe hooked me up at Christmas through my sister in Texas. He also has an older brother. Hmm. Should get a little more in a couple of months. I can only get money twice a year, or they take it. They take at least half of it. Mm -hmm. it's expensive taxes. Oh yeah. Um, so his inheritance from his pops. I don't think I, I don't know if I told you this. His dad un unfortunately passed away while we were in high school. Oh, wow. Uh, he wasn't, he was close with them, I think, when they were young, but then uh, when they moved out here, they uh, unfortunately kind of grew apart a little bit, and I think secretly that hurt him deeply inside, mm -hmm. and that, uh, a lot of us think that it was soon after that that kind of things kind of derailed a little bit, so we have a feeling that might have had uh, an effect on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's your pops, and he died pretty young, I mean, as for for his dad, I, I can't remember what it was. It had to have been maybe my head. He probably was in his forties, I imagine. Yeah, it was a heart attack. <laughs> so he says, "Yeah, uh, half they take half of it." Dude, Jason Kerrigan. So this is cat that we used to fucking hang out with back in the day when we were kids. We called him uh, Billy Joel because he had fucking bright bleach blonde hair and shit, <laughs> and fucking would just comb it like. Billy Joel. Like, I mean, it looked <laughs> yeah. almost just like him, you know? Great fucking artist. Good dude. Um, some of this shit, I don't know if I was just too fucked up to remember, but I don't remember the last time I saw him. All I know is one day he was fucking moved and gone, and sometimes I remember where the fuck I was besides maybe face down in the fucking <laughs> gutter somewhere <laughs> drunk on my ass. So I told him... I, like that? I, yeah. Well, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Well, I, I, because you know, it just fucking disappeared, though. Like, <laughs> yeah, just like, that fucking guy. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but Kerrigan, I remember him moving. The, and that's what, and he, and he gives me a little insight on here, which I didn't even fucking know. But I didn't know. I mean, Kerrigan was our a, a close friend of ours. Um, I had heard from him for fucking ever. He actually fucking ended up Facebooking me. Friend requested me like four months ago. Oh, weird. So I was like, holy shit, you know? So. He was talking, we talked a little bit, just, you know, yeah. over messages, and then um, he had asked about Brad and this and that, so... Nancy's brother, right? Kerrigan? Yeah, Nancy Kerrigan, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hadn't heard from Kerrigan since, uh, since I lived back at fucking home in Vegas, Fuck. which, yeah, and I was even... I might have still been in school at the time, I don't know, I was around 
16, 17, I think, is the last time I heard from him. Okay? Wow. So he's like, Joe, dude, Jason Kerrigan, exclamation point. Holy shit, I was just thinking of him telling a story of my BS on my hand. Greatest tattoo ever. He only had a fucking Brad S uh, for initials, right? <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> the last time I seen him before he left for Colorado, his old lady was mad at me. Smiley face. I was hitting on her sister. <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> helping Jay <B> and her. <laughs> B hitting on her sister. Helping Jay and her pack her shit. Ha uh ha. -huh. Got Jason high. Which she was also mad about. Mm -hmm. Screwing around and trying to get in her sister's pants. Ha. Huh. Good times. <laughs> so he says, yeah, definitely send mine. And would love to hear from him. By the way, so this completely goes on to another different subject. So. Yeah, um, of course. And this, this is kind of funny. By the way, I'm on a pen pal site now for years, which is the one I was kind of telling you about, right? It was for catching fags. Okay, this is his words, <laughs> not ours. <laughs> I like it. And I quote. <laughs> and I quote. By the way, I'm on a pen pal site now for years. It was for catching fags. So they'd send me, they'd send me money. Some did. Now they don't write anymore. Ha ha, faggots. <laughs> but, my <laughs> <laughs> but my site still says bye in Christian. Really need to be up. Really need to update it. <laughs> but I mention it because I sent them a newish picture of me from 2013. If you want to see what my mug looks like. Or did I send a photo to you already? The site is prisoninmates.com. I've gotten some sick-ass dudes, real perverts, <laughs> undercover faggots, a teacher in parentheses, and a real-life transgender. I stopped writing to, I stopped writing to it. I get bored and disgusted by them and tease them after I get a little cash. That is. I have also got really cool chicks and girls from Germany, Finland, Austria, and Sweden. Hella cool. Don't judge me. It's the oldest prison hustle around. <laughs> Working the fags for money. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking bizarre. It is, yeah. I'm still quoting, by the way. <laughs> I'd just be working the fags for money. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's the oldest hustle in town. <laughs> just the yeah, oldest hustle and have, like, bars. <laughs> what is the oldest hustle in town? Oh, oh well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what it is. So, he goes on to say, I hear they have websites that talk about prisoners and warnings of the scams we pull on them. Smiley huh. the face. So my celly was attacked. He puts that in quotes. Right. Take it as you feel free. <laughs> right, right. Ha ha. This piece of shit. <laughs> That's an enemy of ours. Knew we were plotting on him, so he tried to get one of us. Silly fool. We rule the universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the universe. The cement floor. At least that universe. Yeah, oh, fuck. Ha ha, after reading your letter, he just fucking yeah. changed his subject, oh. which is fine. I love it. I love simple and to the point, <laughs> goddammit. Exactly. You want me to elaborate? Because I'm not going to. Here we yeah, go. Exactly. So he goes on, ha ha, after reading your letter, I started, I started telling my, well, I'll read exactly what I said. Ha ha, after reading your letter, I started tell my roommate the stories of dear old mommy dearest, the terror of big five. My Sally lived in P Dub for a while, also, and he hung out with that rat Heath P. It's some dude that I don't care. I don't want to use his full name. Yeah. In prison, I told him the stories. He was bummed out. Hey, that smut Carl C. wrote years ago. Said he was writing a book on Pahrump. I believe Carl or something to that effect. Michael C. So, <clears throat> real quick on this cat. Strange dude. His name's Carl. Um, <laughs> Free Carl. Well, he was... 
He was allergic to fucking everything. He was the most fragile fucking person I've ever seen. And one of those. <laughs> Did you? Yes. Oh, and then like in PE, you wanna you wanna talk about the last pick? I mean, oh. we'd almost want to put the fucking you know uh, janitor's fucking broom next to that exactly. so we could pick that shit instead because exactly, you know? yeah. it had much more potential. Oh, take the mop. Mop's not in. <laughs> yes, I'll he is. Take the um, binder. We'll just go with yeah. short team. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and he was the slowest. Fucking do I mean I think he was smart on intelligence level, but physically All right. I mean Did he strike out at kickball? Fuck. Yes. <laughs> I mean he, I think they're pulling dynamite, but fucking multiply that oh. you know by at least three or four. And his I I'm not joking. I know you guys can't see this right now. I'm not joking, but this is this was him running in PE. And this is real time. <laughs> and I shit oh you God. not. I shit you not. I when you I saw form, that at least. <laughs> yeah. Well, when I saw that, I was going. Is that for real? Yeah, I thought this fucking guy was joking. So he was a very and a very quiet fucking. I mean, didn't say a goddamn word to me. But not that he was, not that he was, um, like. Crazy. He was just. He was ultra shy. Nowadays, you look at him as, uh, who's the shooter in this fucking class? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's kind of how you would look at this yeah. dude now, right? Yeah. He's just a shooter that had no bullets. Yeah, yeah. but no, but nobody like picked on him. He's right. just a fucking weird guy. So anyway, all of a sudden, he's a fucking journalist or some shit like that. So he's been trying to talk to Brad and have Brad tell his story because he's trying to write a book about Perump. So that's why he kind of finds it kind of strange that this fucking dude that never talked to anybody all of a sudden He's wants to be, to be a, a fucking writer. Investigative journalist. Yes. Fucking, hey, remember we never talked, but now I want to ask you some questions. Right. About, you were fucking there. If you'd have just talked, you'd have fucking participated in the cool stories you're going to write about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, what the fuck's he going to fucking... So, one night I was in my room. <laughs> I couldn't have soda because I was allergic to it. <laughs> Couldn't have chips because I was allergic to them. No shirt because I was allergic? allergic to them. I mean, what the fuck are you going to write about, dude? Your fucking goddamn time to turn the room just like... Hey, bubble boy. <laughs> yeah, that's about the only thing he didn't have. Maybe he did. Like, I don't know. So that's why he, this, That's why he's like pissed off about it because this right. dude's like trying to fucking get him to talk and uh, he's never had said anything. Right. I couldn't think about him. Great would that Perump book be with him at the helm? I mean, shit. I want to write stories about what how I grew up. That's yeah. a whole different thing. Yeah. You know, I've told you a few of mine. So anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a backstory as far yeah. as what this Carl guy was, okay? So, of course, we change again. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Now we're done with that. Yes, okay. So the law of... And, and he's talked to me about this before. He just must have got... I don't know. Maybe he was in the hole for too long and forgot that he told me. About everything, the pen pal, everything. Huh. So, okay, the law in Nevada has changed. And he had told me this last time he, he wrote me that Nevada had, was changing, was thinking about changing the law. Kids who committed murder under 18 um, would possibly, and then were sentenced to life, possibly were, were going to be able to get out. Because they were saying, like, too young for people to really think know what's going on yeah consequences weren't all there yeah 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 exactly something like that so i asked him about that he says okay the law in nevada has changed it's due to a new org called the campaign for the fair sentencing of youth that's i'll just say the website it's it's uh fair sentencing of youth dot org and this is what it's kind of funny because i was laughing because again he doesn't yeah, he's finally getting familiar with websites, obviously, because right, he's right. actually writing them. But he says in parentheses, no spaces. Oh, good. No spaces. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, one of those websites. <laughs> www.fairsetscenofyouth.org, no spaces. Okay, okay. You got that? <laughs> yeah, now I do. <laughs> if I would have done that completely wrong. <laughs> the law is AB 267, Nevada Assembly Bill 267. There is also the Sentencing Project www.sentencingproject.org maybe all capital letters. (laughs) (laughs) 
that's funny. <laughs> now the bad news. I qualify in all ways but one. Fuck! <laughs> I was 18. Not under 18, assholes. As right now, those of us that were 18 are waiting for the others to get new time structures in court. Which would probably take years. Fucking years. I would still have to get a parole to get out. And I got that damn four years for fucking up Sean D's RV. Ha ha. Remember that? Ha ha. Fat rat bastard. That night was fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he has remorse. <laughs> that'll, help, he does. that'll help later on. That he remorse does. he shows in that letter. That's, they're just going to read this to him. <laughs> um, so now we're at the end. All right, homeboy. Miss ya. Be well, my brother Brad. P.S. My religion is Asa True Now or Odin Odinist. Odinist. Sorry if I mispronounce for any of those who are in that religion. I've never heard of it, so my apologies. One of the places that have a website, if you're curious, is www.wyrdsway.com. Is that all spaces? Uh, he doesn't no say, caps. so we'll have to take no a guess. No caps, all spaces? No. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no. <laughs> That's uh, so anyway, oh so God. that's one of his letters. Um, so yeah, I think crazy, huh? I think we call this segment "Letters from B Rad." <laughs> I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Letters from B Rad. <laughs> All right, that works for me. So anyway, so that was one of the letters. I was just thinking when you're, you know, the, the stuff that he messes up is funny because you know he just doesn't get a lot of stuff. But I was thinking like. You know, all this shit I've done since I was 18. Can you imagine being somewhere and this all that shit goes away and the only stories you have are the ones from when... I mean, there's a lot of stories there, but yeah. fuck, man. Think about all that shit unwritten. That's true, man. And you know what? It's like, almost like... All that shit just gone. It's, it's almost the reverse. In, well, not even the reverse. It's almost the same way as these fucking jocks that used to be... Yeah. Badasses right. or whatever. Right. And then all of a sudden they turn in, they, they don't get anywhere in life. Right. And then They're all they peace. have is the stories yeah. of, yeah. well, back in high school when I used yeah. to play ball, I mean, Uncle Rico's type of fucking shit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They pull up the fucking reunion and he's still leaning on the same fucking pinto. <laughs> hey! This still, Is that uh. The Firebird? Yeah, he goes, uh, I got, a, they got a tape deck in here now. <laughs> all right. Well, Cindy, funny. I think your panties are still in the back. Remember that night? <laughs> Were we 17? <laughs> but just think about that, though, man. The only stories you got. I mean, you got no new stories other than, like, the shit that goes down in prison, which ain't much. Well, that's some interesting he, shit. There is, but I don't think you can write about it. It sounds like. Well, himself. he wrote on a few things. Like, one one thing, and this is one of, one of the letters that he wrote me, was he's he does write some interesting stuff sometimes because he said something like, oh, yeah, I'm in a hole again because some asshole threw a 45-pound plate on my back. So then I had to fuck him up. Mm. And then he'll say a little bit about it, but he doesn't say he only he only he'll talk about the shit that has probably already been Sorted it's out. not a legend, I guess let's yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, it's very interesting. Well you can't give out any secrets like you can't you know, I mean be the fifth. Yeah. I'm surprised he can even put the shit about hustling the fags. Nobody cares about that. Huh? I guess, I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. So, um... What did he call it? The... Is that what he called it? Hustling the fags? No, it was a term he used out. that was fucking funny as shit. Some the way he said it was goddamn genius. Two, I think, is back here. Don't judge me. It's the oldest <laughs> prison hustle around. Working the fags for money. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Pounding on the bathroom door. What are you doing in there? Working the bags for money. Give me a minute. <laughs> this is so fucking weird. It is. It is. And I and, and it is a whole different world. And I, I I want to go see him. I tried to go see him one time, but the fucking uh, the problem with these prisons too is that the correctional officers, whatever the fuck you want to say, is most of them are such pricks that they try to treat. The visitors almost the same as oh, prisoners because yeah. they're all about their whole power, and it's just like you know it was such a fucking hassle. He even told me that there've been complaints on these motherfuckers mm -hmm. that they're so difficult to work with because as I was like, call him like, hey, you know, when's when's uh, 
one visiting hours and this and that and they're just they, they won't give me a fucking straight answer and this and that so it's just a total fucking hassle it's a power trip for those motherfuckers uh, it, it completely yeah. is it's not your job to punish them yeah I right you're, you're guarding them yeah. that's what you're fucking doing the green mile shit when they talked about that was pretty good like oh yeah <laughs> that, 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 that's a good point yeah they, some of those guards just think that they still got a fucking job to do punishing them no the punishment is they're in fucking prison yeah <laughs> yeah, it, it, you don't have to make his life that, more miserable. Like, how are you gonna make his life more miserable? Right. Fuck you. I mean, it, it's insane. So I, I, I do want to go see him, and I, and he's not far away from my parents, and that's why I want to go see him. It, it gets a little difficult, so I plan on trying to go see him this year. Oh yeah. Um, but <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to write him some more, and like I said, I will. Maybe I'll try to look. I'll, I'll try to look for some letters that we that he's written in the past, yeah. uh, and and then also, of course, definitely new ones now. Oh, and I'll yeah. fucking tell him that we're doing a little. He won't know what a podcast is, <laughs> but I'll tell him it's kind of like a radio thing. Yeah. Um, but just to say, like it's on the Webernets, on the on the Webernets, all oh, lower case, <laughs> no spaces, <laughs> no spaces. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to um, kind of share that, and I, and I think it'd be. It'd be an interesting outlook or, or take. I, I know there's a lot of shows with prison and stuff like that. Yeah. But when you know somebody personally, like I knew him for years, you know, yeah. in the past, yeah. and still talking to him now, it's it's just, it's crazy, you know? It's crazy. In prison for yeah. over half his life now. Yep. You know? That's a weird switch that flips. Yeah. It's now been over half my life. Wow. Yeah, and, and the shit that... 18, not like, even like what you said, I think it was a good point that you said as far as, like, that's all the fucking stories you got. Yeah. Except, you know, your, your stories for freedom, I guess you could say. Right. And the other thing is, is it stops right there, man. You don't, you don't know really necessarily, you know cell phones, but you don't 100% realize what they are. Uh Time fucking stands still for that. I mean, yeah. he comes out, like I, like I said, you know, if he came out, he wouldn't know what the fuck he to do, man. get a cab. Like, if, you're I right, mean, there's just so many fucking things. Uber, what the fuck's an Uber? Oh, you can't have it. You don't have a smartphone yet. Yeah. What the fuck's a smartphone? <laughs> you, know, you can't get a smartphone because you don't have any credit yet. <laughs> what the fuck is credit? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. How do I get money? Yeah. Um, you know? Well, it's tough. You're convicted. <laughs> No, it, yeah. I mean, there's no, there's no rehabilitation in prison. That's that's the bottom line. No, it's about taking everything they can. And, and granted, not that prison should be a fucking fantasy by any means. No, but if they're really using it for rehabilitation, then they should. But they're not. Right. You know. I mean, it, it, I don't know. It's just it could it could be an argument for both ways. Fuck, I'll argue about it with myself as far as yay, nay, yay, right, nay. Right. Yeah, you know? but then yeah, well, well, if you heard that they were giving out money and these guys were fucking getting free college, you'd be like, wait, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, you exactly. know, you'd be mad about that. It is. It's it's exactly. really fucking tough. But but I mean, to not give them any skills to survive if they were to get out, you know, it's not. Yeah, it's almost like. They should at least be able to contribute to society. That's one of the things, you know. When you get out, you should be able to contribute to society. If they don't even understand society, it would take them five years to get caught up. Fuck. You're like, fucking that's, come out and be like idiocracy. It, except it, he'd be the dumb exactly guy. exactly how it would be. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't I worry, mean, it's what plants crave. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I knew a guy that so he had gone to prison for six years. I knew him from the gym. Very nice guy. No, but he said he even had to go to therapy for about a year to conform. I mean, this is only six years in prison, you know. Yeah. So I, I mean, it, it's it's got to be it's got to be difficult, but you know. Anyways, it's just interesting too, though. Like, how much money did he have to spend to, after he got out? Where if they could have kept up with it a little bit? Oh yeah. Might not have gone to that, but yeah. Like, like, who's gonna put money into that? Well, nobody. We can't even teach our fucking kids that are I was gonna in say, prison yet. I was going to say, the fucking public schools don't get shit. Yeah. I mean, you think they're going to fucking put it over there? It's 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 all fucked up thing. But but anyway, yeah, so um, I think is what 
Faden said, I think it's a good way to call it. It's uh, letters from B-Rad. <laughs> letters from B-Rad. I mean, I think that works perfectly. <laughs> so, anyway, so uh, I guess that's uh, the segment. I just wanted to read that shit I gave. I, I kind of gave this idea, or brought up this idea with to Baden. I think... Um, I think we, we'll try it out. And... I think that's funny. I like it. <laughs> but uh, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed it. Um, right now we don't have many, but please uh, go to Juan and Joe Comedy. Um, we have a YouTube on that. Yep. We also have on YouTube, just look up Burning Dreams Films. We have a mini series that we worked on there and in all aspects, acting, not writing necessarily, but acting, film work, yep. visual effects, production in general. The Juan and Joe comedy will be coming will come, be coming soon as uh, Juan and Joe comedy dot com. Yep, we'll be launching that. Mm -hmm. Look forward to that. KT shirts. KT shirts. This episode is brought to you by KT shirts dot net dot net. It's our only sponsor because it's us. Yeah, <laughs> the only ones we need. Minimalist. T-shirts and some really cool shit. I think. Yeah, I, absolutely. Um, visit that. Visit visit that site. At least check it out. We uh, we have some we have some really good shit going on there, and I think it's doing well. Oh, I do too. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and and look out for definitely for some more adventures as far as Juan and Joe comedy. We, we we will be filming a few things here in a couple weeks. Definitely. We're going to start filming. We'll have to get uh, some tags out for that so we can have people look us up. We'll tweet. We'll periscope before we film. We'll get all that stuff. Yes. So uh, listen for more updates on that. Look for us on Instagram. KT Shirts yeah, anyway. KT Graphic Tees. Uh -huh. yep. Look for us at Twitter. Yep. Look for us on Facebook. Yep. Uh, and Pinterest. Pinterest. We're all on there as well. It's a good one. And, and more men are using Pinterest. It's okay. Yeah. Not just for the ladies anymore. Uh, just Some really hot chicks on there. Yeah, beautiful hot chicks. Oh, yeah. Which is what we're going to be modeling <laughs> soon. Um, we're going to be modeling soon? Yeah. Hot chicks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and um, the, my shameless plug, josemazephotography.com. Hell, yeah. We do have another um, sponsor. I do, yeah. But, well, kind of. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, it's my photography there. It's not that I am hired in a sense to do photography. Uh, I mean, I can. No humans. They're a pain in the ass. <laughs> Only cars and things like that. You go if you go on my site, you'll be able to look at that. Yeah. And no humans watching the photography of the cars. <laughs> I don't want you to set up the car. Just park it and get out of the way. Yeah, get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> Unless you got some album cover that you want to be on there, <laughs> still get the fuck out of the way. Exactly, yeah. Uh, unless you're well, a hot girl. Do you think girl. I should face the front end right at the sun so when you shoot it, the light's on it? <laughs> Would that help? Oh, yeah, completely. You know what will help? If you fucking keep walking that way and don't stop until exactly. I call you. Back up. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. I can still see you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, anyway, so, yeah, that. Um, again podcasts that we're doing oh and we do have a web series that we will be doing are we gonna put another juan and joe company probably yeah at least the yeah the the start of it yeah okay it'll spin off eventually but i think why for now yeah why, why spread it out too thin so keep a lookout on that we're actually getting that together web series yep we right now we're in the writing stages character development mm -hmm. we got one, two, three and a half walls full of, uh, we got an 18 by 24 inch paper written down. Ideas, stories. Anyway, we're pretty Scratches much. like crazy. We're looking to do the pilot at least by the end of this year. Yep. yep. And we are looking to do, look, we'll look out for the trailer hopefully here in the next couple of months. We'll, yep. we'll, we'll keep updating. There'll but. be a little call to, uh, maybe we'll need some help with the. Uh, background and extras and yeah different stuff like that if we do we'll um make sure you're following us so you can catch us up catch yeah up on that. that's a good idea and we'll be looking to do a couple of different podcasts so this one is by us again juan and joe comedy hmm? um it's this this one is letters by b-rad <laughs> letters 
Might be around. And uh, Juan and Joe Comedy is us, Jose Meza and Jonathan Baden. So, anyways, time to uh, cut this shit because we got some fucking writing to do. We got work so, to do, people. Yeah, so thanks for joining us, and uh, hopefully, we will. You hear from us soon. So, guys, have a good night. Fuck you all. That's a fucking rap.